Yeah, DP. Josh here with Deprived Productions back in UE4 with a 12th Minecraft style tutorial. And before we get started, I got three apologies. One, my mic's a little jacked up, so my thing's a little messed up, so if I sound a little funny, I apologize. Two, while we're working on Minecraft, make sure you've watched the other 11 tutorials. And remember that I'm learning with you. So when I learn things, you learn things, and we may end up scratching all this later. And three, we're going to talk about deleting blocks today. Part two, adding and deleting blocks. But I want you to know something. This is not an end-all. We are not done here because I'm not happy with the result. But I still want to show you guys what you can do. A couple little trick, little tricky gadgets, little gadget trick tricks. Now, the thing is, it's real simple. We got our terrain here. We've built it. Y'all know we built it. You've been watching the tutorials. And we got all kind of stuff here. If we go to the con construction script, that's where most of our work is done, right? Which is not a lot. But then in our event graph, we do add our blocks with the left mouse button. We're going to need... We're going to need that right mouse button, bro. You're going to need it. Now, we're going to use this to delete our blocks. Now, I'm going to tell you right now what you want to do is go here and you set your terrain 75 by 75 by, by 0. That way we have no height because, you know, like I said, we added the height last tutorial. We could do all kind of cool stuff. But let's let's keep the number down. Keep the numbers down right now. You know what I'm saying? And what we want to do is we want to copy and paste all this bad baby right here. Let's copy and paste all that bad baby. Oh, God. Oh, God, I made a mess. It's cool. I'm going to fix it, bro. I'm going to fix it. Let's drag it down here and plug this bad baby in right here. And again, I can't see very well, guys. My stuff's messed up, but blah, blah. I just, I got a little, I, I ain't got time. I ain't got time, okay? So I, I didn't want to fix it. I want to take a couple more days. I wanted to get this tutorial out. Tell you, because you deserve it, because you need it. Now, the thing is, it isn't exactly what we want. Now, let's talk about this, though. When it comes to adding a block, and we did that already, there are a couple little tricks. We had to lock it to a snap it to a grid based off our tile size, right? Set that to be our location. And then based off which number we're using here, which is our toolbar select end, we can create a grass block or a dirt block. Well, where we only have two dirt block or two tiny blocks, we're going to delete. Or we're going we're to cheat today. We're going to need a branch. Now, what's cool about a branch is you can hold letter B, bro. And just hold letter B and just make sure we hit something. Let's make sure we hit something first, okay? But then what we need to do is we need to see which block we hit, okay? For right now, there's there's going to be a better way to do this. But for now, we only have two. We're going to make this E. Shut up, Karen. Okay, we're going to take hit component. Now, we're going to look for the we're gonna look for the equal button, bro. you got to find that equal button on your keyboard. Equal. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to grab the grass block and plug it in there, okay? We want to make sure it's equal to that component. And if it is, we will make decisions. So let's plug that into our condition of our second branch there and plug true into that because if we don't hit nothing we don't want to do nothing now we don't have we could do the four duration thing i've turned the four durations off so we're not going to see the line but if you need to see the line go ahead now the reason i'm doing this is because we need to check and see if either if either one works so one reason i'm going to grab grass block now okay we'll grab it okay and type in the word remove <laughs> Type in the word remove, bro you're going to see remove instance and you're like nice but what is that you know what what is what is that you know what I'm saying? What you're going to do is you'll grab his hit item, bro, out of here and snap right in there, okay? But the thing is, if it's false, right, I'm going to control C, control V, that. But get rid of the grass block, make it a dirt block, plug it in, plug this into false, grab the hit item, and plug it into the instance index there. Yeah, okay, so you're probably thinking already, well, listen here, douche. If there's 25,000 different block types, how are you going to do it? You're not. I'm sorry. Right now, we're just working with two. We'll talk about that later. We'll create a select and all that cool stuff. Again, I'm looking for different cool ways to do this. But for now, where we have two blocks, what we'll do is we will take the hit item, and we will delete it based off what's going on. So we're going to remove a grass instance if it's pointing at a grass component. And if it's not pointing at a grass component and it's pointing at something, it can only be pointing at a dirt component. So that's all we got to do. And we got it set to be our right mouse button, and we're done. You're like, that's it? That tutorial's over? You know what I'm saying? So I go over here, and if I, if I, if I, if I left click, I'm adding my blocks, and we'll bring it up to the dirt, bring it back to the grass. But then I right click, snap. I got rid of, I got rid of the grass block. Okay, snap. Okay, snap. I'm getting rid of it. We'll go down to the dirt. To to make sure it works right you know what i'm saying okay snap we're, we're doing it and i'm not gonna lie it's flawless i mean we are we're doing stuff okay we are we're having it we're we're we're, we're doing we're doing big things you know what i'm saying and and and, and you know it's, we're not like just oh god the point is like you know we, we got we got a small terrain though and that, that that's the issue i want to talk to you about Let's talk about 75 by 75. That's, that's, that's not a ton. That's not a ton of blocks, but it is a ton of blocks. And the fact that we're able to um, delete it instantly is cool. But I need to talk to you about what's going on just really quick. When you remove an instance, when you remove an instance, let's say you have 100,000 and you remove instance 99. 
it's not just going to remove instance 99, and you can read it here. It's going to reroute the array of instances to where 99 no longer exists. So it's going to take 100 to 100,000 and subtract one from all of them. And now the array only consists of 99,000 But number 100 is now 99. And so, so it made a huge change there. That's a really, really big deal. That means it's rewriting the array every time you delete a block. The problem with that is if we set these to like two fish. Shut up, Karen! But anyway, prof, sorry. Care. 250 by 250. We got a big old, we got a big old field of, of blocks. Now check this out. I'm gonna set my height to one, bro. I'm 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 over during it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have a little, little bump. We have a little we're gonna have a little Yeah, but sh shut up! Okay, now we're gonna do a little alt P. We'll do a little alt P. Now we have tons of blocks, right? We got all kind of them. We can add them, no problem. But when I go to delete now, you'll know this is a little bit of a delay. Definitely a delay. Now I get it. You're probably thinking, well, bro, I just don't know if we need that many blocks on the screen. I mean, if you do 250 by 250, let's be honest, that's several, that's 50,000, double it. We, 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 we got a ton of blocks on the screen, but if I go to delete a grass, yeah, it'll do it, but there's a lot of delay. If I go to, if I go to delete a dirt, there's like literally almost a full second delay, dude. And let's be honest, we cannot have that. You can't have that. You can't do that. So we do have a little bit of an issue here that hasn't been solved yet. But we're getting we're getting close. So this is part part two of the adding and deleting blocks because we're still working on it. Now, I want to show you another option for people who just literally need... Let's say you're just building one map, and it's just going to be one map, and you're only on it for a short period of time, and then you know you just need a way to quickly get rid of the blocks and not have the delay. Well, this is another way you can do it, and I, do, I want to tell you right now that I don't condone this because I, I would never – I do not recommend doing this, but I want to show you – and again, it's cool because you get to learn new things. But what we can do now is you can type in the word – oh, God, I pressed compile, and there's 400 billion blocks out there. And I probably should have fixed that, but it's too late, so now it's going to take forever to compile because there's 100,000 instances, instances out there, honey, and good God. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in instance again. Okay. Uh, Trevor, Trevor, word inst. Oh, God. Come on. Instance. Now, what you'll see, you'll see all these instances. Okay. You'll see all these. Oh, no. Oh, God. Wait. Wait. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. You'll see update instance transform. That's the one I want to talk about. And obviously, we're going to need two of those. Okay. So we're going to plug that one in first. Now, what we need to do is this is our grass block. Let's plug our hit item in here. Plug our hit item in here. What happens now is we can do a couple things. We could set the transform, split the transform, and set the scale to zero. We could set all the scales to zero. And that's what we call, that's what I like to call cheating. And what that is is cheating. So now, if you have to click this to make it work. If you do not click this, it will not update the transform. It needs to know that the slate is, it needs to know that it's dirty, bro, because you got to get dirty with it. You got to get dirty, and if you don't, well, that's that's your problem. Now, the point is, let's go down here and plug the dirt block into this one, and then we'll talk more about it. Um, we could plug the false into there, and then we'll plug the hit item into here, right? And then, of course, it's set up the same way. So what's going to happen now? I'm dragging stuff out of the way. What's going to happen now is it's not going to delete the instance, bro. It's, I'm going to go ahead and compile because it's going to take 45 minutes. Um, I'm gonna, it's not going to delete the instance. It's going to set the scale to nothing, which means it's not going to be there. But the problem is the instance still exists in the world. So this is not good on resources. This, in fact, it's real bad. It's real bad on resources, but here's the problem. It works flawlessly, and I mean flawlessly. Like, I'm deleting blocks as fast as I want to. There's literally no issue, and I'm walking right through them, so it's not like there's any type of collision issues. But here, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about this. I'm not deleting them. I'm not deleting them. They still exist in the array. They still exist in the world. It doesn't matter how many times you do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and let, let, Let's have some fun here. Let's set this to about, let's set this to about, let's set it back to, 75, you know what I'm saying, to make that a little tiny, because it was getting too big, set that to about 75, you know but we're going to set this height to 10, you know what I mean, so we're going to have all kind of blocks, you know what I'm saying, we're going to have all kind of, we're going to have a big old, big old, big old thing of blocks there, you know what I mean, now, if I need to grab my, I need to grab my guy, you know what I'm saying, bring him up a little bit, but what's cool now is, man, we can, oh God, oh, oh, oh God, did that not, did that not work, bro? I need to you need to come up a little further. Is that what's going on? Is that what's going on right there, honey? Okay, yeah, there we go. See, now it's cool because we can dig through like Minecraft. You know what I'm saying? I can just dig through, the, dig down in here and get dirty with it. Yeah, honey. Oh, oh, oh. Now, again, if you're making a game and you don't need a ton of blocks and you just need to, you know, delete some instances and you're having a little bit of lag issue, but you want to be able to do it quickly and you're not going to be just like, you're not going to be adding constantly, you know, adding box and making it, making it more more bigger more bigger because you're adding instances you know what i'm saying I'm adding instances everywhere and then i'm creating a mess and then you know it's, it's a resource thing but the point is if you don't if you find yourself in a situation where you can use this trick congratulations enjoy it 
But when it comes to creating Minecraft, this is not the end all goal. So I want, to, I want you guys to know that yes, we are deleting blocks now, but not the way we need to at all. Because what we need is an array of blocks. And we need to delete one out of the array, but the array not move and and and, and like you know, rewrite the entire array. Because if you have a hundred again, a hundred thousand blocks, you subtract nine thousand eleven and one hundred and eleven. And then it rewrites everyone above that to subtract from the one you got. Like, it's it's making a mess. And what's cool is if you create a block, you can delete it. You can create a block. You can delete it. It doesn't matter what kind you create. You know what I'm saying? You can go to number two here. Create that one. Create that one. Delete it. It, it works. It works. And again, one more time, we're not deleting them when we do this. You can go back and do the remove instance if you'd like to, but I'm just letting you guys know this is, ugh, this is a way to do it for now. But we are not done. Just let you guys know. We're, like, we're not done here. But guys, thanks for watching Josh Hibbert Deprived Productions. If you wanted to lease some blocks, jump on in here and have some fun. You know what I mean? Get in here and freaking dig it. Dig it out, bro. Dig it out. Dig yourself a big hole. You know what I mean? We got big. Just dig. You know what I'm saying? Have some fun. We need to accept some more material blocks and all that. But there you go. We got ourselves. We're, we're deleting blocks. It's just the cheap way. I don't recommend it. If, if you're going to have hundreds of thousands of instances, it's not, good, it's not a good idea. But if you're going to do like a few grand... You know what I'm saying? If you're doing a few grand, it's a quick way to make things work, but it depends on what you're doing. It depends on a lot of things. I'm not recommending it long term. I'm not doing it. But we'll be back. We're going to learn more about this. We got it coming. But guys, thanks for watching. Josh Ever Deprived Productions. UE4 all day, every day. Don't be scared. 2,300 subscribers. I love you guys. I miss you guys. And I'm going to get on you eventually once I find you. But the guys, thanks again for watching. Hit us up on all the different links are in the description of the video, all our different social media sites, itch.io, uh, Bandcamp, um, Facebook, you name it. We're there. You know what I'm saying? Please follow us, help us, support us. You guys have been amazing. We have the coolest community I've ever seen. We really do. We're lucky to have you guys. And I hope that I I can help you in any way. Anyway, hit me up if you have any questions. We got more Minecraft coming in the future. Thanks for watching. Love you. Miss you. Peace.